So this, I would like to take a little time to show you how our, we are set up for studying these things. And I know, I understand this is complicated, but we'll try to go through it. So one of the first things is we have, right over here, we have something called a first beat bodyguard, which is essentially a heart rate monitor, and it also is an accelerometer. From, from this tool, we're, we will get a lot of information. はい、で一つ一つ説明していきますけれども、まずファーストビートボディーガードというもので、これは心拍のモニタ,モニタリングのデバイスです。で、アクセレロ,ロミターというものですね。And then the next thing is what we call MOXIE. It's really near infrared spectroscopy, and it measures the saturation of oxygen in the muscle. And、uh, so muscle oxygen saturation, and we have several of these sensors. That we put in very, over various muscles that are, some are working with Katsu, some are not working with Katsu. はい、で次は MOXI というものですけれども、これはあの赤外線のスペクトロスコピー、あの分析の機械なんですけれども、これは何を見ているかというと、筋肉中の,その酸素の,その飽和状態をセンサーで感知するというものです。And、uh, to skip down to this bottom one, we also measure, have a pulse oximeter, which is here, and it also goes on to the finger of the subject here, where we can check the amount of oxygen saturation in the arterial blood. で最後に飛びますけどネルコーというのはこれパルスオキシメーターといいましてその血中のですね酸素濃度計酸素濃度を測定する機械です。And then here we have the Doppler ultrasound, which is holding over the brachial artery and vein. And this is the computer that shows us what the, what the、uh, blood flow is. So this allows us to measure how much blood is, in the, is coming through the arteries and how much blood is coming out through the veins. えドプラーの超音波の機械はですねこういうふうにコンピューターの,そのモニターがついておりましてその血管からそのあの血流がどれくらいあってあのそれをですねモニタリングする機械です。And so I am going to begin with this. This is, this is the screen from the ultrasound unit. And we have put the cuff, the katsu、uh, bands at fitting pressure or 48 millimeters of mercury. And what we can see here is that we see the pulse wave of the Doppler demonstrating or proving that we have arterial blood flow going into the arm in this case.、Uh, this 50, with various calculations, we can measure how much blood flow that is. And you can't really see it here, but this, this is 56.7 milliliters per minute. はい、でこちらまずですねその超音波の機器ですけれどもこのカーツベルト 48mHg であのカーツベルトを装着してですねこのドプラーの機械でそのパルスウェーブを見ていきますこれでですね腕にどれくらいの血流がいったかあの血流速度が分かるわけですけれどもこのデータによると 56.7mLMLS What's MLS stand for?、Hmm? MLS Milliliters ミリッターミリリッターですね And so now we have increased the、uh, pressure in the katsu belt to 100 millimeters of mercury. This has reduced the blood flow in the artery from 57 down to 22.、Uh, but there's still the artery is open, and this is actually the vein here that is now distended.、Uh, but still there is flow inside the vein as well that I'm not showing here. But here we see, here we see the、uh, pulse wave of the arterial blood. はい、でこちらのカーツベルトの圧を100に上げた後なんですけれども57あったその血流が22に下がっていますまだあの血管はあのオープン広がった状態にあるんですけれどもあの狭まってきているのがあの画像を通して分かりましてこちらがあのパルスウェーブです。And now we are at 200 millimeters of mercury on the, on the katsu cuff and we still have the artery and、uh, Or this one down here is the artery, and this is the vein here, demonstrating、um, both that we have both the artery and the vein are open. And again, we're seeing the、uh, pulse wave,、uh, a very good pulse wave uh, with the, uh, with the, in the artery, at, even at 200 millimeters of mercury. はい、でこれを見ていくとですね、圧を200あのミリ HG に上げたカフで,で上げた後なんですけれども、その動脈があってその毛細血管があるんですけれども、この状態でもですね、パルスウェーブではその血流を示しています。And in this slide, now we're up at 300 millimeters of mercury on the katsu band, 
and the blood flow in the artery is reduced, but it's still present at 13 millimeters, milliliters uh, per minute. And so uh, there is still good blood flow, and you can still see the, the pressure waves uh, on the, uh, on the uh, ultrasound. はい、でこちらは300に上げた後ですね、その動脈の流れは 13.1 に減っていますけれども、パルスウェーブを、超音波を見てみると、まだここ、流れているのがわかります。And there's something interesting that has、uh, now started to happen is when each time the, the、uh, person does a muscle contraction, then this is the time when the venous blood、uh, exits the arm. And also we see something, a retrograde flow. So this, this, these little things down here, this is where the blood is actually going backwards in the artery as the muscle contracts. はい、でここからあの興味深い現象が見え始めます、あの筋肉がその収縮するたびにです、ね、その静脈からの,その血の流れです、ね、腕からこう出ていく、そしてあの逆流している、そういう現象が見られます。So, in summary, with the ultrasound, we, with Katsu, we impede, but we do not occlude arterial inflow. And it's very important to, to note that we're, we are not stopping the blood、uh, totally. はい、でここであのまとめになりますけれども、その加圧メソッド、超音波で見る限りですね、狭めてはいますけれども、その血管を狭窄、完全に血流を止める状態には至っていないということが一つ。And the next thing is that in the arm or the leg,、um, this business of putting pressure on and pressure off in the warm up procedure, it causes the blood vessels in the、uh, cuff that are distal to the air band to, to dilate. はい、であの次はです、ね、その最初にです、ね、ウ,ォーーウォームアップでその腕なり足なりでその圧をオン・オフにすることであの血管を鳴らすことができる。The Katsu air band then impedes but distends the capillary and venous space. So the arm or the blood vessels in the arm and the leg become bigger. はい、でもう一つ分かったことはです、ね、加圧の,そのベルトでその血流を制限することによってその毛細血管がこう広がっていくということですね。And then, very importantly, when the muscle contracts, when the, when the arm is, is brought forward or the leg,、um, this, this force in the muscles then squeezes blood out through the veins back to the heart.、はい、で、あの最後に重要なことなんですけど、筋収縮をするたびにですね、筋肉を例えば曲げたりするたびに、その血管からですね、心臓の方にこう血が戻っていく現象が見られたということ。